this statement by Matisse up, we say it by like a boozy up, is the idea is, is that this, if these statements are there that the children can read, they might not understand them, but they're, they're going into their brain. They're, they're being, you know, they're, they're living with these statements. They might think, what does he mean? You know, oh, it's the only serious thing in the world. But the only serious person who's never seriously asked, what does that actually mean? You know, and it might, 20 years time, it might dawn on them. That's the reason. So not to be prescriptive, to not to be prescriptive or didactic, it's to be just to have the stuff around. <laughs> Yes, they can do this, and art isn't just something in a frame. They're aware of it, but again, it's not overt. It's this embedded intelligence that Bruce McLean talked about right at the beginning, and that's what it is. It's just there, and the children absorb it. They know what it is, and it gives them the scope, I think, to think outside the box. Which space in the Noodle Rai school do you visit the least? Use the sticker to show. It's probably that lovely library we have, but I don't get much chance to use it. Which space in the Noodle Rai school do you enjoy being in the most? Please place sticker at the appropriate place. Where is it Does anybody know where the cow? It's Well, it has to be the action. The whole idea of the school was to build the intelligence into the school, and everything was supposed to be exposed. Statements by artists and various other people. And like the abacus wall isn't an artwork, it's an abacus which you can use, and the sound wall should be tuned and can be played. It's got Scottish names and what you know, inventors' names on. Okay. It. And I used that when we were doing we were doing Robert Burns, so we were doing Scotland in the 1700s. So they went to look at the dates of the, you know, who was born at the same time. Right. We don't tell them who these people are. If they want to find out, they go and have a look on the internet or in books yeah. or whatever to find out. So it's well, no, you're responsible for for that. I, I was hoped that the teachers would respond to these things, but if the, some of the teachers didn't know who half the people were, who Audrey Breton was, or something, but if they didn't know, then they could go and look and find out who Miles Davis is and then talk about that. Something to do. We want to have more stuff like that around, so there's something for someone to talk about, uh, apart from the curriculum in which they, have, uh, they use themselves. The artwork on the back wall, which are certain phrases from famous people, and I don't discuss these with the children. Um, it's up to them to read and try and find out and if they question me then fine, but I don't say what the phrases are. Because I feel that the children will ask about it eventually. I think it fits in very well with the Curriculum for Excellence which is the, the new way forward for Scottish education. It allows the children to maximise the space. It allows them to become involved in the actual building and the way the building works. It allows them to be um, problem solving and um, think about different ways that they can use the spaces. So yes, I think it fits in very well with everything that's going on in Scottish education at the moment. And especially looking at the whole child so that the art side, the drama side, their whole personality can be developed. The new environment is health because there's more space here than there is in the previous school. We uh, have been able to walk around, uh, experiment more with the new things in the school. And the school is actually for them and basically try new things, try new spaces, which they seem to be enjoying very well.
the involvement of a, an art teacher full time in our school is something that I don't think is going on anywhere. Certainly in North Ayrshire, but I'd be surprised if there's any primary school in the whole of Scotland who has a, a full time art teacher in residence. Looking around the school, you see the evidence of that. The children's approach to art is astonishing. There's a very relaxed yet astonishingly productive approach to art in the school. There's a lot of positives and some very minor negatives about, about the school. Um, getting used to something, for better words, unusual. Um, the, the, the adapting our practice to go with, for example, the open plan nature for many of the staff. The staff were not used to that, having come from a very old traditional building. So using the space to the best of our ability, using the space for what it was intended for, but equally developing it further for our own uses. Um, the special piece of work in the class is this one on the, yes. on the walls. That makes, that's what makes it different to the other classes. Um, they were very curious about it, yeah. yeah. The, the children would prefer to it very little. They yeah. not prefer to it much at all. Yeah. And I feel it's good for a wasted wall. Okay. It was good at the start no, when the children looked at it mm -hmm. first, but now they didn't pay attention yeah. to it at all. <laughs> Environmental studies room, once again, we're using it for, for many other areas out with environmental studies. So it is impacting on the curriculum in that we are getting used to the space and developing a confidence to deal with that space in other ways such as best. I'd hope that the variety of new rooms and spaces and tied in with our new approaches to the curriculum is encouraging children to take more ownership and responsibility for their learning. Uh, but certainly keeping in. The confidence levels are there to be seen. I'm sure if you wander around the school and chat with children, the confidence is fantastic. Um, due to the many, many visitors we're having to the school, um, the children are so used to that. Um, so yes, in that respect, it probably has impacted on the behaviour. So we've had very little vandalism in the school, out with or in, inside the school. So there's, there's a sense of ownership and pride and so in, in the building. Um, the, the children certainly uh, are, are proud of what, what's going on in the school. But generally speaking, I think the attractiveness of the environment has made it a, a much happier and more relaxed place to work. Everyone seems to be looking after that a bit better, which can only be the first step. why it's the sphere and it goes outside classrooms with the sevens will go well, along here and yeah. you know if if up the school they're doing sheep they can come along here because we are not in the cl classroom all the time. Well certainly I have worked more in the abacus room, Okay. much more and everyone knows when you see the room with the abacus yeah. everyone knows. So this is the sheep room, it's the way of identifying where you are.
maybe the only one that they identify with is the one with the cow. It's the same language which actually says don't buy. That's so all that was in this room and everything. You know, it's, it's a nice thing, it's, it's something different, but it's, when it comes to the practical aspect, you know, when you're trying to get display up and things, yeah. that's where it sort of falls down. Um, I'm sure in the future, once um, more people have had a chance to see it, then we will eventually use it as a display. Well, the new school has been very beneficial to teaching practices because of the space, the layout, the facilities. Obviously, I'm very lucky being in the art room because I've got my own closed classroom. Whereas I think a lot of the other teachers perhaps are getting a bit, well it's taking them a while to get used to the open area. More display areas certainly would be a big improvement. The teachers are a bit kind of, you know, wary of what they put on the wall. And they don't want to uh, spoil the actual feeling of the school. The learning and the environment has to move on. Like the attainment and the achievement has to keep moving on. I think the spaces, the teachers would probably rather use the space for learning purposes like display and things like that but it doesn't mean to say that the artwork still can't be there but just a happy medium between the both because it's brilliant all the artwork in the school I mean the kids it's really interesting and especially when the kids move up to the you know primary one move up you know they'll see that like primary six will be in that room next year again so it's a def different learning environment for them there has to be a kind of happy medium between it being a classroom and it being an actual art in the gym hall. Did you gym? <laughs> you feel the same again? And um, you know, we don't mind them sticking things on walls, we don't mind them sticking things over these things. The things are made with material that they can stick things on, but we think the idea is that if they stick them up for, for a day, then take them down the next day. It's just that they go up and they stay up. Then they remain up they're covered in dust and then they take them down. I don't think it should be called artwork. I'm not, I don't think it's anything to do with the art. I think it's to do with just making things like, for example, the, as the abacus is one thing, and there's a statement which has got, there's a thousand words, th a thousand of the most used words in the English language without swear words. That's covered with stuff as well. Information about how leaves are constructed mathematically. That's covered up with stuff. There's no point putting the stuff there. What's the, you know? And if you go to the offices upstairs and the corridors upstairs, there's pristine walls of nothing. Nothing up there. The stuff stuck in the graffiti on the wall, the stuff stuck everywhere. In the canteen, the stuff, everywhere the stuff. Is there any stuff in the gymnasium yet? And some of the things that I wouldn't change would be the artworks that were in, are in the school. I think we might, I would actually have liked to have seen them beefed up a bit, if you like, when you look back at the original ideas for some of the artwork, especially on the outside of the building. We've narrowed it down too much. We've sanitised it, if you like, yeah. in some ways. And the edginess has gone out of some of the pieces. But you could understand why, because on paper, it did look rather way out. But now you see the size of the building and the way it sits in the landscape. I think some of those things could have been added back in. I would say the only thing I would change is to have more artwork and, and that's what's good about if you like Scottish education we do all learn from each other we're asking the children to do that so we should be doing that too. We have had a lot of people around and it does have the wow factor there's been um, thought provoking for the children but it's almost become a fabric of their life it's almost as if it's just there uh, they don't comment upon it they just it's just part of their being now. I think it has given them a different perspective on what art is. It definitely gave me a different perspective on what art is. And working with so many artists and having so many people coming in, the school really is starting to become, I would say, an area for excellence. Because of the artwork, it has started something else and it has evoked in some children an idea that, yes, they can do this, and art isn't just something in a frame.